Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the power 38 in chapter 4. In this one, we look at this person, and then he's about to leave the uh, origin point, right, and then run fast. So there we can see we, have, we need to do the force analysis, and then we need to find its horizontal acceleration, and then the force, and then at a certain time, 0 0.0, 3 to seconds later, and then the speed, the velocity. So first thing we draw a picture to make sure we get all the details. So for this person, first thing when we consider its force, there must be gravity, agree? And the normal force, the ground to the person. And also there is a force. This force is uh, active force, so it's born active force on these blocks. And then these blocks give the person this force, right? This is Newton's third law. And this is a pair of the force equals in magnitude, but opposite in directions. This force is 720 Newtons, and the angle theta is 22 degree. Agree? And then this is all the force we have. And then because we want to know the force horizontally, so we need to project this uh, force, the, this uh, block to the person, projected into component Fp. In two components, we have Fp cosine theta and Fp sine theta. Agree? Therefore, we can consider Newton's second law. First thing, we consider the vertical direction. The vertical direction, this person is stationary because he didn't jump up or move down. He just uh, and always at this point, right, in vertical direction. So this one, we get the, we write in Newton's equation, the net force equals the mass times acceleration, acceleration is zero. And also we can look at the horizontal direction. There is the net force, Fp, cosine theta, equals mass times acceleration. Therefore, we you can see Fp is given and angle theta is given. Very easily, you can get this acceleration for this person. Agree? This acceleration is constant acceleration. And then ask you a certain time, 0.32 seconds later, the velocity. So you can see initial velocity is given. Acceleration is in question A. And you also know the time t. It's easy for you to get a velocity. Do you agree? Yes. So this is how we solve the problems in details. Thank you.